Hello, my name is George, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Bariatric Keto Over 50. On this channel, is going to be designed for people that's had bariatric surgery and are doing the keto lifestyle. Went and managed to lose over 90 pounds since the beginning of January when I started doing keto. Uh, back uh, in December of 2014, I went and managed to go down to Tijuana, Mexico for, and had the bariatric surgery done. I went and had the sleeve. Uh, I went and at that time I was at my heaviest. I was right around 360 pounds. That was pre-surgery. Post-surgery I managed to get down to 270. And I couldn't get any lower. I was frustrated following their menus, their lean this, lean that, no fat this. It just didn't work for me. And I got 270 and I plateaued and I got frustrated and never basically gave up. Last year, 2018, I started hearing of the keto diet. And here I'm thinking it's a fad diet like everything else. So I never really, really paid much attention to it until uh, late November, early December of 18. I seen Dr. Oz went and had it on one of his programs. So I decided to record it and I went and watched it that night when I got home from work. Seen where people had testimonials of getting off their blood medications, getting their diabetes reversed, uh, getting uh, off of CPAP machines. Uh, I, uh, Montel Williams was even on there and talked about how his MS got into remission. So after seeing this here, I was like, okay, what do I got to lose? So I started dabbing around, looking into it. And who else am I going to ask but Google and YouTube on what to do, how to start keto, where do I begin? And uh, I found grocery lists. I found uh, a couple of YouTube channels that I'm subscribed to that I watch on a regular program. And if I'm not sure on something, I go back and check it out and start, you know, dabbing around decided to take a look into it and see what was the best option for me after having bariatric surgery not able to get in all my nutrients can't keep up with all the calorie count can't keep up with the macros and all of that so I gotta do things a little different maybe a little bit on the wild side if you may but this is how I went and did it I went and uh, found out what all the high what all the high fats were that I needed I went and looked up on the glycemic index to find out what foods went and hit your uh, insulin levels the highest uh, and I went and found out what the most nutrient foods are so I started I started figuring all this stuff out and so I basically do what I call a lazy keto. Now hold on. Since I don't count my macros, I don't count my calories, I really can't follow any of that since that I've had my surgery. Now if I didn't have surgery, I could be able to follow the calorie count, have this amount for breakfast, this amount for lunch, this amount for, you know. But since I have had my bariatric surgery I can't do that so now I gotta tweak things so like let's say if I was hungry for beef stroganoff I go and type in Google keto beef stroganoff I'll get four or five recipes find out what's all common then start putting in together what I need to do to where I could get in my nutrients and stuff that I need to get for uh, since having bariatric surgery you got to get in as many vitamins as you can naturally rather than from vitamins I feel I don't know I could be wrong but this is the way I've been doing it now there's only four rules that I really follow while doing this I only eat when I'm hungry and when I eat I only eat healthy I find I keep all my foods where my insulin level will stay low and fourth, 
I do not snack in between meals. I do not have any of the keto bars. I don't do the Quest bars. I don't do none of these keto snack bars or whatever you want to call them. I don't do that. I stick with just real food all the time. Uh, I do make desserts. As I've found a couple of websites out there that has some really good desserts that I follow. I do have fat bombs that I have found from some of these uh, web or YouTube channels that I follow that I do do. And I use those for my snacks if I want a snack. Um, so with this YouTube channel, I'm going to do my best to get as healthy a food as I can present it to you guys uh, how I do it may not be very conventional because there is a snack that I do like that people go and say ew that's gross but I, I like it and what it is is really just tuna fish and avocado instead of mayo even though I have found a great avocado mayonnaise to go and make, which I do put in there at times with it. But for the most time, it's just an avocado, a can of tuna fish, or a, a envelope of tuna fish. Put in together, mix it up, add some spices, good to go. Okay, now with that being said, that's pretty much a history of myself in a nutshell. And where I'm coming from with this channel, I, uh, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nutritionist. Uh, I'm just out wanting to help the bariatric community with the keto lifestyle. Now, if you like what you're seeing and you like what you're hearing, please hit the like and subscribe button, hit the bell icon for the next time that I put a video out. And, uh, Hopefully, I can help you and you can help me and hopefully we can help be, all be able to help each other. Thank you.